Top 10 Mechatronics Engineer Interview Questions and Answers Mechatronics engineering is a multidisciplinary field that combines mechanical, electrical, and computer engineering to design and create intelligent systems and products. As the demand for skilled mechatronics engineers grows, so does the need to prepare for interviews in this field. This guide provides a comprehensive list of the top 10 mechatronics engineer interview questions, along with detailed answers to help you succeed. Each question is designed to test your technical knowledge, problem-solving skills, and understanding of mechatronics principles. Let's dive into the questions and answers to help you ace your next interview. 1. What is mechatronics and how does it integrate different engineering disciplines? Mechatronics is an interdisciplinary field that combines mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, computer science, and control engineering to design and create smart systems and products. It focuses on the synergy between these disciplines to develop innovative solutions for complex problems. For example, a robotic arm in a manufacturing plant is a mechatronic system. It uses mechanical components for movement, electrical systems for power and sensors, and computer algorithms for control and automation. The integration of these disciplines allows engineers to create systems that are more efficient, reliable, and adaptable to changing requirements. 2. Explain the role of sensors in mechatronic systems. Sensors play a critical role in mechatronic systems by providing real-time data about the system's environment and performance. They act as the eyes and ears of the system, enabling it to respond to changes and make informed decisions. For example, in an autonomous vehicle, sensors such as litter, cameras, and ultrasonic sensors collect data about the vehicle's surroundings. This data is processed by the system's control unit to make decisions like steering, braking, or accelerating. Without sensors, mechatronic systems would lack the ability to interact with their environment and perform tasks autonomously. 3. How do you approach troubleshooting a mechatronic system? Troubleshooting a mechatronic system requires a systematic approach that involves identifying the problem, isolating the cause, and implementing a solution. First, I would gather information about the system's symptoms and performance. Next, I would use diagnostic tools such as multimeters, oscilloscopes, or software simulations to test individual components like sensors, actuators, and controllers. Once the faulty component is identified, I would repair or replace it and verify that the system is functioning correctly. Effective troubleshooting also requires a deep understanding of the system's design and operation, as well as strong problem-solving skills. 4. What are the key components of a mechatronic system? The key components of a mechatronic system include mechanical components, electrical components, sensors, actuators, and control systems. Mechanical components provide the physical structure and movement, such as gears, motors, and linkages. Electrical components, such as circuits and power supplies, provide energy and connectivity. Sensors collect data from the environment, while actuators convert electrical signals into mechanical motion. The control system, often a microcontroller or PLC, processes data from sensors and sends commands to actuators. These components work together to create a cohesive and functional system. 5. Describe a project where you applied mechatronics principles. In a recent project, I designed an automated sorting system for a manufacturing plant. The system used a conveyor belt, robotic arms, and sensors to sort products based on size and weight. I integrated mechanical components like motors and gears with electrical systems for power and control. Sensors detected the product's attributes, and a microcontroller processed the data to control the robotic arms. The project required a deep understanding of mechatronics principles, including system integration, control algorithms, and troubleshooting. The result was a highly efficient system that reduced manual labor and improved productivity. 6. How do you ensure the reliability of a mechatronic system? Ensuring the reliability of a mechatronic system involves careful design, testing, and maintenance. During the design phase, I would use robust components and redundancy to minimize the risk of failure. For example, critical systems might include backup sensors or power supplies. Testing is also essential to identify and address potential issues before the system is deployed. This might involve stress testing, environmental testing, and simulations. Finally, regular maintenance and monitoring are necessary to detect and resolve problems early. By taking these steps, I can ensure that the system operates reliably over its lifespan. 7. What is the importance of control systems in mechatronics? Control systems are the brain of a mechatronic system, responsible for processing data and making decisions. They ensure that the system operates as intended by coordinating the actions of sensors, actuators, and other components. For example, in a temperature control system, the control system monitors the temperature using sensors and adjusts the heating or cooling elements to maintain the desired temperature. Control systems can be simple, 
like a thermostat, are complex, like the algorithms used in autonomous vehicles. Their importance lies in their ability to automate processes, improve efficiency, and enhance performance. 8. How do you stay updated with advancements in mechatronics? Staying updated with advancements in mechatronics is essential for continuous learning and professional growth. I regularly read industry journals, attend conferences, and participate in online courses to stay informed about the latest technologies and trends. I also follow leading companies and researchers in the field to learn about their innovations. Additionally, I experiment with new tools and techniques in my projects to gain hands-on experience. By staying updated, I can apply the latest knowledge and skills to my work and contribute to the advancement of the field. 9. What are the challenges of designing mechatronic systems? Designing mechatronic systems presents several challenges, including complexity, integration, and cost. The interdisciplinary nature of mechatronics requires expertise in multiple fields, which can be difficult to manage. Integrating mechanical, electrical, and software components also poses challenges, as they must work together seamlessly. Additionally, balancing performance and cost is a common challenge, as high-quality components and advanced technologies can be expensive. To overcome these challenges, I focus on clear communication, thorough planning, and iterative testing to ensure that the system meets its requirements and constraints. 10. How do you optimize the performance of a mechatronic system? Optimizing the performance of a mechatronic system involves improving its efficiency, accuracy, and reliability. This can be achieved through careful design, advanced control algorithms, and regular maintenance. For example, I might use lightweight materials and efficient motors to reduce energy consumption. Advanced control algorithms, such as PID controllers or machine learning models, can enhance the system's accuracy and responsiveness. Regular maintenance, including calibration and software updates, ensures that the system continues to perform at its best. By focusing on these areas, I can optimize the system's performance and extend its lifespan. Preparing for a mechatronics engineer interview requires a solid understanding of the field's principles, technologies, and applications. By familiarizing yourself with these top 10 questions and answers, you can demonstrate your expertise and problem-solving skills to potential employers. Remember to stay updated with the latest advancements, practice your communication skills, and approach each question with confidence. With the right preparation and mindset, you can excel in your interview and take the next step in your mechatronics engineering career. Good luck!